turn your ideas into clickable prototypes within minutes with Cloud AI. The 3.5 Sonnet update from Cloud AI and the artifacts feature are a real game changer for creators of all trades. In this short video tutorial, I will show you how I create some content, update the content, turn the content into a web page, update the design of the web page, and publish this web page publicly on the web. Along the way, I will give some tips and tricks on how to use Cloud AI. The first prompt we are going to start with is pretty easy. We describe the newsletter and the audience the newsletter is for and adds some details like that is sent two times a month and uh, it currently has 2K subscribers and we want to create the landing page copy with this prompt. So I copy over this prompt. It's pretty basic uh, and I hit return. So it starts creating the content. Here's a concise copy of a newsletter landing page. And what you can see right away is that my input and the chat conversation is separate from the output that is generated within this chat conversation. So by clicking this arrow up here, I can see all the created artifacts, how it's called within Claudia. This is a very powerful feature because when we move along and create multiple versions, you can always switch between the created versions. So let's take a quick look. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Uh, I could download uh, the content to a markdown file. I could copy it to the clipboard uh, and use it in some other software. Um, but yeah, that's the first version of the copy and I'm happy with it, but I want to infuse some existing content. So uh, you can upload your own documents, images and so on directly to cloud. And what I prepared here uh, in another window, uh, you can see it here. Uh, YouTube video images. I have a website screenshot from my own website um, and I'm asking Cloud AI in a second. So I'm copying this in here and I'm going back to my prompt library and saying update the copy uh, with the heading and subheading from the provided screenshot. Let's see if Cloud is capable of doing that. Click here, copy the prompt and let's go. Let's see how Cloud AI is handling that task. And voila, it's working. So it adds my existing newsletter title, creators of all trades, your twice a month dose of creator content and so on and so on. And I'm quite happy with the result. So let's assume that's good enough uh, content to turn that into a landing page prototype. That's when I will move on to the next prompt and ask Cloud AI to create the landing page based on that created copy. So for the next uh, step, we will just ask Cloud AI to create uh, a landing page based on the created copy. As you can see, I already tried that. So um, I'm clicking on edit to resubmit this. Click on save. That's a nice feature of Claudia that you can click edit uh, on a prompt and uh, resubmit it. Anyway, so it starts creating um, the landing page. Again, on the right hand side, you can see how the first version of our landing page gets created. Code creation is really quick. Uh, from my experience, uh, way better compared to ChatGPT. It immediately switches to the preview pane uh, and you can always uh, switch to the code view if you have the skills. Um, to understand and uh, read it from here. Um, anyway, this is the first version and we are quite happy with it. In the next step, we want to see if we can improve the design uh, and we will reference again the screenshot. So the prompt is pretty simple. Apply the design from the uploaded screenshot, similar gradient, font, general style. Let's go here, copy in the prompt and hit return. Now we have to wait again. And it starts creating the updated HTML. Let's see if, if it looks different compared to the first version of our landing page. So it's creating the CSS, the HTML. And um, a few seconds later, we will see the result. Okay, so here we are. You can see it looks different. If you want to see how it looks different, uh, you can always switch between versions, which is a very nice feature. So you click here, version one, version two. You can see it tries 
to add these rounded boxes, uh, update the front a bit to match the uploaded screenshot. So quite nice. You could be way more um, detailed in such a prompt. So state an exact Google font you want to use, um, what the button color should be. And that's something we will try in the next step. So change the background of the join today button to red. Let's see if that works. What I'm testing here is, is Cloud AI capable of recreating the exact same page and just update the button. This is something I experienced in ChatGPT. Whenever you tried to recreate something you already got, it recreated like uh, the result as you wanted it, but it also changed lots of other stuff along the way. So you basically uh, always created different versions. This is quite nice. So as you can see here, comparing the versions again, trying today and trying to base exactly the same hero area of our landing page. The only thing that changes is the button color and that's quite nice. Let's do a quick recap. As you can see here in the chat controls, we created artifacts. So the first one was the landing page copy and the second one was the landing page, the HTML. And below you could see the uploads. So we uploaded this website screenshot to take the design inspiration from. Whenever you are happy with a result, you can uh, share it on the web by clicking publish. And you get the link and can send around that link to ask for feedback. And you can do that for any type of artifact. So it could be just this copy or it could be the web page. Let's assume that we liked the first version best. And we could say publish this web page, uh, this HTML on the web, publish and copy the link. And uh, let's take a look of how this looks on the web. I'm opening this public link. Then you will see a disclaimer that this is AI generated. Uh, and now I could give feedback on that landing page copy or on the, on the HTML prototype and further uh, work on my idea. Um, anyway, uh, I think Cloud AI is a super powerful tool, especially it makes it really easy to stay sane during long conversations. And with the recent project feature, it allows you to organize chat conversations within projects, which is also uh, a quite cool feature. Um, if you liked this video, be sure to check out the longer blog post version, uh, which is down in the description, uh, and let me know how you are doing using Cloudia to create or turn your ideas into prototypes.